starting your own painting company in 2023. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, it's really important. We talk about how to determine your reason, your why of you want to get into the painting industry and make sure it's a strong enough reason. If it's not, you will be a casualty in this. You'll last a year or two and you'll quit. I don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen. It's a waste of everyone's time and energy. Find out if you have a strong enough why to get into this and then go ahead and let's get talk about how to get started. My name's David Klappenberger. I started my own painting company in 1989, grew it up until about 2019, and I sold my company because I began franchising a few years prior to that. Yes, I still sell franchises. If you're interested in franchising, there's great perks to that. You get so much things that you don't have when you're starting on your own. But this video is to help you think about whether you want to perhaps franchise, but really it's what would I recommend that you do if you wanted to start your own business as a painting contractor in 2023. And the first thing you're gonna think about is I probably need a website because that's where 90, 95% of all consumers go when they need to get their house painted. So of course you have to have a good website. It is impossible for you to get on the first page or the second page or even the third page for years, perhaps, at least, at least a year. Why? Because Angie's is on there, Yelp is on there, Home Advisor is on there, the big painting contractors who have devoted hundreds or thousands and thousands of hours on their site doing blogs, doing YouTube channel stuff, having 50, 100, 200 Google reviews. They have credibility. They have a trust factor with Google that you just don't have yet. But Google is going to give it to the people who've really been putting in the work for years and years and years. So you want to have a website, but it's only so you're going to have a place to send your customers, your happy customers, when, and ask them to start doing Google reviews for you. And you can start doing blogs and you can start developing your before and after pictures, your own gallery and making it custom. But it's going to take time and we can't rely on a good, robust website to start bringing in leads. And don't think about pay-per-click yet either. If you're not familiar with pay-per-click, it's a way to get you at the top of the first page just by giving Google some money. We're not, I'm not going to recommend you doing that either. I have a better option for you. And that is networking. You're definitely going to want to, you're definitely going to want to look at local networking groups, get some nice business cards printed up, some attractive looking cards, hand them out. That card will represent you. So the only thing people know about you is that you're a painting contractor and you have a nice business card. Get to know them, have coffee with with them, just don't go to the meeting and go home. At, find a property manager or a realtor or somebody who you think you can get work from and you can help them get work as well and have a cup of coffee with them. Networking is key. The other thing that you, I highly recommend you doing, it doesn't cost any money, is go on the internet, go to like Zillow for example, and look for homes that have been on the market for 30, 60, 90 days. Look at the photos in there. They're loaded with photos. Is there wallpaper on the walls? Are the kitchen cabinets dated? Would they benefit from a fresh coat of paint? Should the wallpaper get taken off? Do they have bold and unusual colors on the inside of the house that you could, you could um, neutralize? Call up the realtor and say, hey, look, I saw this house was on, on the market for 90 days. Um, a fresh coat of paint on those kitchen cabinets, you could probably raise the price a couple grand for the cost uh, uh, for selling the house, and it would pay, you know, and that's what we would charge for painting the cabinets. You know, it's not, you know, we want the return on investment on painting is typically 90 to 110 percent, depending on what website you go to, talking about the best ways to fix up a home. But know what the best ways to fix up a home are. Do some research about this industry that you're getting into and you'll find out that you can probably perform a lot of the services 
that make a house more presentable. I promise you that if you called up 30 realtors, you'd have work tomorrow. You might have work that day. They might not hire you for this project that you called on this house, but they might have something else. Picking up the phone is a very inexpensive. I, it's no fun. Nobody likes to do it. Nobody wants to make cold calls. I get it. But that's why you have to have a strong why. You have to say, what I want is to grow my business. And you got to hustle. You got to work hard. You can't just be somebody who wants to wait for the phone to ring. Look, you're starting a painting company. Nobody knows who the hell you are besides you, you know, a couple friends. You have hundreds of thousands of people in your area. Got to get the name out there. If you can find a crew that is willing to work evenings, and many of them are, then you can open up some other doors of opportunity, perhaps at restaurants. You might even want to start at the restaurant where you patronize. Ask the general manager if they'd be interested in the benefits of having a fresh coat of paint on the exterior, the interior, bathrooms remodeled. Call restaurants between 2 and 4 o'clock before their dinner rush and after their lunch rush. That's usually when a general manager has a couple minutes to talk. These are great ideas. Well, I believe they are, and they work for me, they work for you, um, of getting a, a nice customer base without spending a lot of money. And so if you want to start your own business, please follow these practices. If you'd like more support, more backup, more better marketing already in place for you, blogs and YouTube channels and all that kind of stuff ready to go, estimating software and all that kind of stuff, you might want to look into franchising. Our franchise, Clappenberger & Son, comes with a $500,000 gross sale guarantee in your first 20 months or we give you your franchise feedback. If you'd like to get more information about franchising with Clappenberger & Son, go to franchise.clappenbergerandson slash get a report and download your ebook today. On the flip side, if you would still like to start your own painting company, great. Fill out the comment form. Let me know what you'd like to hear about. Give us a like and a subscribe. That's very helpful. And I will be happy to put some more information out there for you to make your journey uh, as successful as possible. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Dave Klappenberger. Have a great rest of your day.